In this video, we're going to look at a couple of spin-offs from Euler's theorem. So Euler's theorem said the number of vertices take away the number of edges plus the number of faces equals 2. And the spin-off we're going to look at is that edges are always less than or equal to 3v minus 6. And this is going to help us to prove why we can't have k5 as a, as a planar graph. But first of all, I'm going to prove this to you. So I've got at least three vertices, and I'm going to draw a tree to start with, with three vertices. And with a tree with three vertices, we have one face. Nothing is closed off, so it's always one face. Now the edges are always equal to the number of vertices, take away one in a tree. So that means that v minus one is less than or equal to three v minus six. Now it doesn't matter how many extra vertices I add here, every vertex I add, I add an edge. So if we then rearrange this, take away two v from uh, one v from both sides to get two v, add six to both sides, we can see here that v is always bigger than or equal to five over two. And one of the conditions is that I have at least three vertices. So it clearly holds true for any tree. But what about if it's not a tree? So I'm going to take two graphs just to show you two different representations. I'm gonna take one with three vertices, but this time it's not a tree and we'll then say that we've got a face here and a face here. So this time we've got two faces. And I can do another one. I'm going to do C4, the circular graph C4 to start with, like this. And here again, I've got one face here and one face here. Now, what we notice straight away is the minute we close off and make a cycle is that <clears throat> every face has at least three edges, at least three edges. So this face one has one, two, three that enclose it. And this face two will need one, two, three to enclose it. And in this particular graph, each of them has four. So it's at least three. In fact, I could just change this one slightly and even and close it like that. So this one's now got three, but still the outside one has got four and this one's got three. So it's at least three edges. So I'm going to write that down. The edges are greater than, let's make it a bit neater, the edges are greater than or equal to three faces. So however many faces I've got, I've got to have at least three times the faces. Not quite true because each edge will share two faces. So I'm going to divide that by two. So for every edge that I've got, it actually has two faces. And if we now rearrange this, we have 2e, f, and we'll divide that by three. Now I'm going to go up to Euler's theorem and put this in. So I'm going to say the number of vertices take away the number of edges, and I'm going to add on the number of faces, but I'm going to replace it with this. So it's 2e divided by 3. Now it's not equal to. I know that this was greater than the number of faces, so this is greater than 2. Multiply everything through by 3. And we're going to simplify this in a sec. That's now 6. This gives me 3 v minus e is greater than 6. I'm going to add e to both sides, take away 3 from both sides. And now I have got the thing that we started with. e is less than 3v minus 6. So that is the first spin-off from Euler's theorem. We're going to do another one, and then we're going to use those two proofs with a couple of um, classic non-planar representations.